Welcome back everyone. Like many of you, I've also been watching the new Fallout TV show on Amazon. And like many of you, I've been considering the lore implications of a lot of things that have been presented in the show. There's been a lot of hubbub online about different things being written to be non-canon, especially in New Vegas, to the point where I've had to make a prior video about that. But in this video, I thought I'd take a deeper dive into some of the lore that's been presented in the new Fallout TV show, and try to work that into the existing Fallout timeline. One of the most contentious issues currently is the ideas around the fall of the NCR, or rather their current status. If you've seen my previous video, you know that there's been a lot of talk online about a particular scene in which it's listed that Shady Sands, the NCR capital, which we can visit in its early stages in Fallout 1, was destroyed or in some way fell in the year 2277. I went into this a little bit more in my previous video, but I think I'll go into a little bit more detail here. On the chalkboard, you can see the fall of the NCR listed under the date 2277. For those who don't know, Fallout New Vegas takes place in 2281. After that, you can see a nuclear bomb symbol. A lot of confusion online comes from the idea that people think Shady Sands or the NCR was destroyed in 2277. Like I said in that previous video, that's incorrect. What the lore from this show is telling us is that Shady Sands in some way fell in 2277. Now, fell doesn't mean that it was entirely destroyed or that the NCR was entirely destroyed since we see them in Fallout New Vegas, but rather it probably means that the NCR capital is in some way jeopardized, very much similar to how Rome fell but was still operational as a city for many centuries afterwards. In addition, the nuke that we see going off is likely happening far later in time, much more closely in line with, with the Fallout TV show's date which takes place in 2296, almost a decade over the end of Fallout New Vegas. Now the status of the NCR has been one of the more contentious issues like I said. What we do at least know is that the NCR is really on the back foot and this can follow up from any of the New Vegas endings. Either the Legion, Yes Man or House endings all have the NCR being largely pushed out of the Mojave in Nevada following a failed campaign to take over New Vegas. Even from the NCR campaign, you could make the argument that what we see in the Fallout show is a result of them overextending and, and destroying themselves from a lack of supplies and overexpansion. In episode 5 of the show, we see a huge crater in the ground, which the NCR isn't around. From what we understand is, before the events of the show in 2296, like I said, Shady Sands, or at least some portion of the NCR, got absolutely glassed to smithereens. Now, what's uncertain is that what ha now what's uncertain is what has actually happened to the faction. We know that the NCR is still around and they are a considerable force in California. However, they seem to have sort of waned in their power, seeing as how they've lost Shady Sands and the Brotherhood are now able to fly their carriers and vertebrates around Southern California with impunity. Prior to this the West Coast Brotherhood had been more or less confined to small bunkers in Lost Hills and later in San Francisco, following what we see in the Mojave chapter in New Vegas. So while it seems that the NCR certainly isn't gone as a faction, they really have kind of waned in what their power, like I said. Now this isn't exactly a retcon or anything like that. Talking to characters in New Vegas, especially NCR characters, we learn that the Republic is really on the back foot, having to deal with excessive corruption, bureaucracy, and overextending themselves. A lot of people like Hanlon in New Vegas even believe that what we see now in the Fallout TV show was, was essentially inevitable to happen. The next piece of lore that we need to touch on is the ideas of who started the war and the purpose of the vaults. In the Fallout TV show, we see several heads of various important companies like Robco, yep, Robert House is here, Big Mountain, Rapcon, West Tech, all meet at the Vault Tech HQ in an episode 8 flashback. There, the Vault Tech representative expresses that in order to get back on their investment of building all these vaults, they would need to be the ones to drop the bombs first. That's pretty blunt, but it's also possible like many things in Fallout lore, that these were just a coincidence. Who dropped the bombs and who started the Great War has always been a topic of debate in the Fallout series, and it's just as likely that vault -Tec was set up to end the world before ch the Chinese or anyone else beat them to it. It's possible the Enclave even did it prior as one of their nefarious schemes. Another thing which fans of the Fallout series like myself are confused about is the fate of New Vegas. In the final shot of the series, we see a wrecked, destroyed New Vegas with a crashed NCR vertebrate and craters everywhere. 
Now, it's not entirely clear yet if, like Shady Sands, New Vegas was nuked by vault but it's more than likely that New Vegas itself has suffered some kind of war, possibly with the NCR or Legion or any other faction. We see prelude to this in the Fallout New Vegas, considering that the Fallout TV show takes place well over 15 years after the events of New Vegas, it's entirely likely that in any ending that we choose in the base game that something like this could have happened. In the Yes Man and House endings, it's very likely that the NCO would have simply come back later with a larger army to invade and take New Vegas, and even if House or Yes Man was able to defend, their supply of Securitrons is relatively limited. A big enough army could eventually take that out. In something like the NCR endings, it could just be argued that poor mismanagement due to NCR bureaucracy led to New Vegas becoming a war zone. An even more likely answer is in the Legion ending when they finally take New Vegas, the wreckage could just be seen as a failed NCR attempt at retaking the city. There's a lot of multitude of angles you could go off of this on, and we'll really honestly have to wait until Fallout Season 2, if that ever does come out, to see what the eventual fate of New Vegas actually is. And also just for anyone else confused, the destruction of New Vegas doesn't take place in 2277, or any time before the events of Fallout New Vegas. The destruction of New Vegas seemingly takes place later down the timeline in 2296 when the Fallout show takes place. Hopefully this was helpful, I've definitely seen a lot of people confused online about the different aspects of the lore of the show, and how some things were left a bit ambiguous. Hopefully this helps clear up any confusion anyone had, and if there's nothing else, have a great rest of your day.